It is important that you understand that all three of these curves, y equals sine x, cos x, and tan x, they all have something in common. Okay? They are all uh, examples of periodic functions. Okay? So they are referred to as periodic. Now, what I mean by that is that they repeat themselves. Each of them has a period. Okay? And what I mean by that is a period is a distance over which the curve repeats itself. So, if you look at each of these curves, this is just a small section of them. This is just a small cutout between 0 and 360 of each of these curves. In actual fact, this curve, the sine curve, for example, just keeps on going. Okay? The cos curve keeps on going. The tan curve keeps on going. Okay? And so on and so forth. Okay? They keep on repeating forever and ever and ever in that direction and in that direction. Okay? So they keep on repeating themselves. And it's important that you can identify the period of each of these functions. So over what distance do they repeat themselves? Well, sine x repeats itself every 360 degrees. Okay? So the period of sine x, so the period is... 360 degrees or 2 pi radians, okay, repeats itself over that distance. The same with cosine, okay, that bit there is repeated there, then there, then there, and so on. And so this also repeats itself every 360 and two, or 2 pi radians. In the case of tan, however, I know that this bit repeats itself there, okay? But actually, it is repeating itself there, then there, 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 okay? So it actually repeats itself every 180 degrees. So tan is the odd one out. It has a period of 180 degrees or pi radians, okay? And this knowledge will allow us to solve uh, equations involving these two th or these three trig curves, okay, um, for larger ranges of zero and three hundred and sixty, okay, and will allow us to deal with more complicated problems because we're going to start inserting transformations into these curves. And that is going to affect where the solutions lie. And we're going to have to use our understanding of the period of these functions to help us find all the solutions that we need.